We're now Jenny Renovitz reporting live tonight. Thank you. We'll have the latest for you tonight at 5.30. Also tonight, a local effort to keep young trick-or-treaters safe is expanding across central Indiana. Yeah, this is now the 13th year that Indianapolis police are now running Operation Halloween. It's a huge plan to get registered sex offenders off of our streets, requiring them to attend a meeting tonight during the hours when kids are collecting candy. Eyewitness News reporter Mary Mills is in Hendricks County, the latest county to embrace the idea. Mary? Well, that's right. Uh, probation officers here in Hendricks County will not be holding a meeting for sex offenders. Instead, they'll be making house calls, checking in on them. At the same time, trick-or-treaters are out going door to door. They say this isn't prompted by any particular problem, just a desire to keep the night fun and safe. Devin Frame and Sarah Pryor are big on Halloween. This year, they've got the haunted graveyard and the scary spider. <laughs> Given the weather, they're bracing for lots of ghosts and goblins. Oh, yes. We run out of candy very fast. <laughs> we stocked up this year. We won't run out of candy. <laughs> okay. This Halloween, trick-or-treaters won't be the only ones going door-to-door -door in Hendricks hey, County. Linville here. Similar to Marion County, probation officers in Hendricks County will be visiting the homes of all 46 sex offenders to make sure they're not out and about on Halloween. This is new. Um, I, I think that the main two focuses of Hendricks County probation is public safety and reducing recidivism. Chief Probation Officer Susan Bentley says it's not that they've had problems in the past. In fact, studies show there's no greater risk of child abuse on Halloween. I haven't seen any data that says the crimes go up either, but when there's the potential for that with these situations, I think it's a good time for us to be out and about making sure just to be safe. Frame and Pryor agree. They say on a night when so many kids are out roaming the neighborhood, why not take extra precautions? I mean, it's, uh, it's nice for everyone to know kind of what's going on around here, but uh, for the most part, I don't think there's many around here, so I don't think it'll be too big of a problem. I mean, it couldn't hurt, you know, better safe than sorry, might as well. And Bentley says if sex offenders aren't where they're supposed to be, have the porch lights on, or are seen handing out candy or anything to trick-or-treaters, uh, they could be arrested for a violation of their probation. As for the kids in this neighborhood, they're just ready to put on their costumes, get out the door, and start loading up on candy and trick-or-treating here starts at 6 tonight. Yeah, it's all about the fun for the kids. Mary Mills reporting live tonight in Avon. Thank you. It's going to be a great night.